Report, it's official, Merkel's reign of global terror is coming to an end by Amy Moreno for TruthFeedNews.com. Germany's leader and the one-woman wrecking ball, Angela Merkel, is in deep trouble thanks to the hordes of migrants she's allowed to take over her country and most of Europe. However, what is happening now with her Bavarian allies and strong disagreements over migration policies may threaten to unseat the longtime chancellor within the next 48 hours. From Breitbart, the era of Angela Merkel may be coming to an end as long-standing disagreements of migration policies between her and her Bavarian allies threaten to come to a head and potentially unseat the German leader who has been at the country's helm since 2005. The coalition of the Christian Democratic Union, led by Chancellor Merkel, what Christian? And the Bavarian Christian Social Union, led by the Interior Minister Horst Seehofer, is in crisis over differences on mass migration. The CSU under Seehofer has demanded that Germany should be able to reject migrants at the border of the country if they have no identity papers and are registered in another country or have been refused refugee status previously, but Merkel believes turning them away undermines the EU's open borders uh, Schengen area. What? The Bavarian has threatened to use his powers as interior minister in order to, uh, in order to have border security uh, unilaterally, a move which would likely result in Merkel's moving to sack him, the CSU, walking out of government and her fragile grand coalition unraveling. Germany is currently admitting around 11,000 asylum seekers every month, according to the Times. Globalist agenda, that's the basically it. Breitbart London, Bavarian leader, will bypass Merkel and deport failed asylum seekers on our own. It's about time. Disagreements on asylum and migration policies between Seehofer and Merkel are nothing new, with Seehofer previously demanding an upper limit of 200,000 migrants per year and even threatening not to campaign with Merkel and the CDU over the issue in late 2016. Since then, the rise of the anti-mass migration alternative for Germany uh, to becoming the official opposition to the current Grand Coalition government in the uh, Bundestag uh, has been the uh, uh, CSU react by embracing a tougher line on mass migration and champion more conservative social issues, even ordering crosses be put up in government buildings to assert Bavaria's cultural identity. You see? Like, in other words, we take down our crosses in order to let everybody else in to take over our country. Meanwhile, the taxpayer has to foot the bill for this. So you're giving the money so they can destroy you. I mean, it, it, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it really does. One of the main considerations for the CSU in the uh, near term is the looming Bavarian election scheduled for October of this year. Traditionally, the CSU has managed to form a, ma a majority of its own, but the rise of the AFD has uh, sapped away support, leaving the CSU with around 40% of the vote, according to current polls. According to German newspaper Die Welt, the uh, current tough stance on mass migration by Seehofer is uh, popular in Bavaria and could explain the party uh, taking the position to try and drive votes back from the AFD. In the past, Chancellor Merkel has been able to dismiss concerns from the CSU, but her position as a weak, much weaker uh, following uh, one of the worst uh, election results in the CDU has ever seen in the last year's national election. The German media have painted a grave picture for the future of Chancellor Merkel with the Mannheimer Morgan writing that she has been uh, plucked like a hen after slaughter 
and that her power now merely exists on paper. Uh, listen, we're getting a lot of CSU and UFD and AFD. The bottom line is, who's paying for this garbage? Now, uh, Europe is rising up. They're not going with the globalist agenda in order to turn every place in the globe a third world country. They're turning them down. Italy shut their borders there. Uh, Austria t uh, took out the, the mosques also uh, because they're a detriment to society. Too much. Too much. They're not looking to assimilate. They're looking to take over. In other words, what they said with the crosses. In other words, uh, to put the crosses back up, why should, it, why should they have been put down in the first place? What, what is this? And, and people should rise up and, and, and get rid of people like this. Listen, people are not, they're, they're turning down globalism. That's why Trump won. That's why the guy in Italy won now. And now this is going to happen where she's out, out the door. And you know what? It couldn't be fast enough or soon enough for this uh, witch to be taken down from her uh, a position because she's a nasty human being. She hates her people, and she should be she should be uh, prosecuted for what she has done to Germany and the German people and everybody else in England and everybody. They better wake up, and they better wake up in America too, because enough is enough with these uh, these uh, uh, mass migration crap, and and they uh, unwilling to assimilate. I mean, really. Let's be real here. Enough is enough. Uh, it couldn't happen uh, too, uh, soon enough. That's all I say. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.